lives. First responders who run private ambulance services only get paid when they transport a patient, and that's presenting some problems. So any response to the scene or mileage from after dropping the patient off and returning back to our home base, we don't necessarily charge for those miles. And WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough explains how ambulance providers are trying to compensate for higher fuel costs. Responding to an emergency call has never been more costly than it is now for ambulance providers in our area. With prices over $4 a gallon in most places, it doesn't appear any relief is in sight for the companies tasked with transporting patients. And over the last year, we've seen about a 74% increase in the cost per gallon for gasoline. We've had a 74% increase since 20, 2020. So when it comes to filling up an ambulance, one of the cost cutting measures has been switching ambulances, the newer ones from diesel fuel to regular fuel. And that really adds up come the end of the day. Diesel engines on an ambulance are a much better option. They last longer. Uh, they have more horsepower. They're, it's just just a much, much better motor, but because of the amount of gas savings, we had to change the gas burners. For North Star Emergency Medical Services, gas charges typically make up about 2% of the company's overall costs, a number that may seem small to most people. When we see the cost per gallon continue to rise, certainly that percentage overall for total cost rises. Some industries may have the luxury of scaling back travel in situations like this to save money. Not when you're a first responder, though. A lot of people don't realize that when the ambulance cre company creates its invoicing, it can only charge the patient for the miles that the patient was actually transported to the medical facility. Meaning the ambulance provider has to eat the cost of driving to a person's house to pick them up, as well as the cost of driving back to the office after dropping the person off at the hospital. You know, when people get an ambulance bill, they're kind of in sticker shock because, you know, they can be rather expensive, but uh, a large portion of that bill you're paying for calls that don't get transported, people that refuse, people that don't pay their bills. 2022 is shaping up to be just as challenging for ambulance providers as the last two years. Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.